Hi YouTubers. In this video I'm going to show you some very important tips on how to sound real bluesy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little solo and then I'm going to break it down. And uh, the solo is not so much to teach you this solo note for note, but what it is is showing you some very important techniques and tips that is involved in sounding really bluesy. Uh, I'm playing in an A harmonica. It's a Honer Special 20 and it'll sound like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down. Uh, first of all, you want to get a good rhythm. Uh, a lot of people start off with scales and just kind of uh, certain riffs and stuff like this, but they forget about rhythm. Rhythm is real important. If you're in a bar and you're playing for a bunch of people and you're just playing a bunch of technical stuff, it's going to have a hard time getting them up off the chair and dancing. But if you're playing some rhythm like... I mean, they're going to get up off the chair and they're going to start dancing. So, and that's going to make the people that's listening to your playing have more of a good time than if you're just playing something technical. So, um, first of all, what you want to do is just do like a simple, like a hatta hutu, hatta hutu, hatta hu, hut, 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 and just kind of combine the hatta on the draw. These are all articulation tricks. Uh, you whisper them, you don't vocalize them, so you say Hatta, Hutu, Hatta, Hut, Hut, stuff, something like that. Just kind of make up your, I'm not going to teach you an exact pattern, but I'm just giving you an idea so you can work with your own little style and make your own pattern. Okay, it'll go something like this. So something like that. And then to add a little articulation to it where it sounds like this. What I'm doing here is I'm taking on the four hole and I'm doing like what they uh, like a it's, it's saying like a wata instead of a hutta. I'm drawing on the four hole and I'm saying like a wata. And the reason why I do that, I use the W, is because it helps me bend it a lot easier. When I do like a wata, a deep wata, that it makes me, uh, makes my mouth form and my tongue form a certain way that I can bend a lot easier. So for you people having a hard time bending, this might work for you. So on the four hole, I'm going. Now if I just did a regular, like a wata, not a deep wata, it'll sound like this. But if I do it real deep. So. It's all on inhale, it's wata, instead of just a wata. So when I do that wata, then I open my mouth and I'm playing the chords again. So I'm doing like the... So when I do the wata, I blow out and say hutu, and then just continue my hata hutu pattern. So it's like... So mix and match that wata technique with your hatha hutu. And then you can play a little complicated riff up here on the four and five hole. It'll sound like this. Mix that in with your. So what that is, is I'm taking the five hole and I'm doing wata on a draw. And then I'm going to the four hole and going to the hutu. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to repeat that twice. So on the five hole, it's a wata draw. And then go to four hole and blow out and say hutu. So. And then on the fifth hole, I'm going to go. Wata on inhale, hu on the blow. And then move over to the four hole and go. 
and then draw and go huh. So it's gonna sound like it. So it's on the fifth hole, wata. Move over to the fourth hole and go hutu. Do that twice. You get a little bit extra on three here. And then you go on the fifth hole, wata, hu, and then move over to the fourth hole and go ha. Huh. So it sounds like it. So mix that in with the, the single wata on the fourth hole and mix that in with the chords I just showed you. So hopefully these tips help you. And if you just take some, it doesn't have to be a real complicated riff that you throw in with uh, your chords. Just take a simple chord rhythm pattern and just throw in some wata hutus. Uh, just use the tricks I just showed you. And also if you want to get a little more detailed on this, uh, playing single notes and, and articulating, check out my channel and there's a site or there's a video it's called the How to Create Your Own Blues Riffs, and it'll go a little more detail on this. So hopefully this video helped you out um, and learn, you know, mix and match and create your own little style and post a video and show the world what you've got. Thank you.